content normally you watch? Yeah. Look, or entertainment or related or whatever. Yeah. Um, I think in today's day and age, everybody has to be uh, tech savvy. That's the way the world has evolved. You know, you're, you can run your entire life through um, your gadgets. Um, so I use uh, internet a lot. I'm fairly tech savvy. And uh, there's a lot of content that you can't see. That's why when I said, when I spoke, that there's a lot of content out there that is available at the touch of a button. We don't have a platform that actually filters that content. So I think the next step, the next evolution in the internet providing um, content is, okay, do we have a platform that is going to curate the best of the best and make that available? And so I'm very happy for that. Uh, when it comes to what kind of stuff do I generally check, most of it happens to be what you all do, which is news. Um, a lot of news, uh, especially sports and uh, entertainment. So, um, yeah, if you have, for example, a long wait, uh, you know, go onto the internet, click onto a film that you might not have seen, you can see it on your phone, catch up on the latest news, uh, you'll break news practically every 15 minutes. So, you know, get the latest news. What's nice about something like Yup TV is that you don't have to watch it at that particular point of time. Um, if there's a, a show that, say, you have done, which I missed because I was shooting, as soon as I finish, I'm driving back home, I can go into Yup TV, click onto your show, and I can stream it right there and then. So. I think it's almost essential that um, today's everyday person has to be tech savvy. And to have a platform where now, apart from just, you know, like, like uh, Mr. Reddy was saying, you know, you go search for something, you won't get anything in a linear order, you're not going to find exactly what you want because there's so much content out there. So now to have a platform which kind of filters all of that out is a huge boon, yeah. Okay, uh, Abhishek, uh, my question to you, you know, as you said, it's okay as well as, well as you can hear me. I, can't, I, can't, I, don't want, I want to see you also. <laughs> hi, how are yeah, you? Yeah, hi. Uh, you know, my question is, as you said, you know, everything is getting digital. It started with Sujoy Ghosh, who have, you know, released his film online, on YouTube. Now Rohan CP, your friend, he's coming with a series of the film, which is going to release on the digital platform. Do you think in the coming years, there'll be a, there'll be a huge change, big budget film going to release on the internet? Do you yeah, see that? Yes, I do and not in the too long future as well. It's going to happen very soon. Um, see, at the end of the day, what is the function of entertainment? The function of entertainment is to provide your entertainment and get it to the end user. All right? So we make a film. Then it goes to a distributor who distributes it to an exhibitor who then exhibits it to your audience. By platforms like Yup TV, you're getting an opportunity for me to show my film directly to my audience and show them at the quality that I want. I'm assured of that. I know how they're watching it, when they're watching it, how long they took, when they switched it off, what are the breaks. So the kind of analytical quality that I can get out of that is something that is not available in the film industry. So it's, um, yes, I think uh, Rohan has made his short films. Shujoy has also. There have been many people who've been doing it for many years actually that have been making short films and, and, and uh, releasing it directly on the net. And let me tell you, uh, we've spoken about this as well. In, uh, the day isn't far away where you get an A-list product which is going to be premiered directly onto the internet. It's not far away as well. At the end of the day, you have to think of it that I want to entertain you all, which is the audience, which is the best possible way that I can reach out to <coughs> 400 million people. That's a huge number. It's a huge ready audience waiting for you right there at Yup TV. So that day isn't very far away. So these are, do, you, do you agree it, it, it affects the business, you know, when, you, when you're releasing the film online, you know, film, uh, film making is a, is a, is a, is a you know, requires so, man, so much amount of money. When the, your film or your movie getting released on internet, does it affect the business? No, I think it because, I mean, like Abhishek was saying, the day is not far off when you'll have a simultaneous release. I mean, a film will become an, in, uh, will become an event. So like a Sanjay Bansali film, will release the same day on theatres if you want it because we link directly in the theatre through the internet and in, in, in homes or in a smart... So it become like that one day, that one show, roughly 200 million people might see it. So that's the future of entertainment. You watch it when you want, as you want. And, and that's interesting. And some of us are uh, uh, in, in an organisation, people like Sira, me, uh, Ketan, Anurag, a lot of us are making, because at the moment the revenue stream is not that clear. So we are all making, including Navdeep,
making one crore film. So we'll make 12 films just to try this out, you know, because that is the kind of money that you can maybe recover. And I think it's, 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 a, it's a great thing. And like uh, Mr. Reddy was saying, you know, I mean, uh, the, the simultaneous, I mean, I'm so glad that this is happening because, you know, a Marathi film should be seen in UP. And now it's available subtitles, anyone who wants to see it, otherwise the cost of exhibition and distribution. So it, it integrates India like nothing else. I mean, this is, this is real Indian cinema going to everybody who wants to watch it. I mean, I think it's fantastic. Hi, uh, Abhishek, uh, Alok here from Aztak. My question is from Aztak. I'm a friend of mine. First of all, you have to tell your football team. Third of all, usually you're first. I know, and I'm a little late. Yeah, so he'll beat you to it. First of all, the films that are being made, first of all, you have to tell about the upcoming projects that we see in the pictures of the films. Please, let me remind you a little bit, because we have a little less than that. मैं व्यस्त हो गया भैया। You have to shoot the films also, ना? So I actually कुछ तीन दिन पहले I completed Household Three, that's going to be the next release, and that's it for now. So just working on Household now, the post production will start, dubbing वगैरह वो सब अभी शुरू होने वाला है। So I finished the shooting of Household, and now we start working on the post production. And TV का जिक्र होता है तो कौन से ऐसे धारावाहिक हैं, serials हैं, soccer के अलावा क्योंकि वो आपका पसंदीदा खेल है। जो आप देखना पसंद करते हैं और उनके लिए आप कुछ भी हो जाए देखते हैं। सॉकर के अलावा मैं कबड्डी देखता हूँ। सिर्फ धारावाहिक को। आज की रात है ज़िंदगी। सुजीत जी मेरा प्रश्न आपसे ये है कि जो आप अभी या बाजार में जो भी आपने ये फिल्में सिलेक्ट की हैं, जो शॉर्ट फिल्म्स, तो इसमें आपने क्या देखा कि जैसे आप फिल्� how much of the filmmakers have been making films and how much of the younger generation have been making films? For the filmmakers, there is a test when a good film feels like it. When he feels like it, I wish I had made it. So, I mean, there are films of all kinds, all varieties, so you don't have one, but a film that touches you, provokes you, entertains you. Without, without being pretentious, I mean, a film can do many things, and if it sets, it should do what it sets out to do. That's all. And 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 uh, it's, I, I'm I'm amazed at the talent that, that I, I've been in, involved with pocket films for a long time, uh, and watching all these films because you know, it, I, I I don't think we, only we inspire the young. The young inspire me a lot. You know, yesterday Anurag Kashyap was my assistant. Maybe I inspired him, but today he's one of my main inspirations. So, I mean, it, it, it's, it's that, you know, interaction which is brilliant and I think it's outstanding some of the talent here. I mean, if I imagine myself at that age, I mean, just now this Assamese boy is telling me that he doesn't know what he's doing. Well, if he doesn't know what he's doing and is still doing this, then I guess he should stay in this state and not know what he's doing because he's outstanding, you know. I mean, so it's, it's amazing. The, the kind of, the detailing, the ability to understand performances, the narrative, the control over the medium, it's, it's amazing what these kids have to do. Hi Abhishek, Urvi here. Uh, Abhishek, you just mentioned that for now you just have Houseful 3. Uh, we would want to also know the status for Hera Peri 3 and also there is news of Dhoom Reloaded being launched. So can you tell us something about that as well? Dhoom, four. Dhoom Reloaded, I said. Um, I, I don't know about this uh, Dhoom thing. Uh, Wire have tweeted few uh, days back that they are coming up with Dhoom Reloaded. Stay tuned. So, since Dhoom has always been okay, I, I don't know what Dhoom Reloaded is. I don't know if it's a film or if it's a music video. I, I'm not sure. I'll have to check with them. So I don't know anything about that. And like I said, as of now, uh, still working on Hera Peri. Just because principal photography is over, over, but there's a lot more work left to be done. I'll finish that, then move on to the other stuff. I say. Reddy Garu, Namaskaram. Sir, Reddy Garu. Reddy Garu, Namaskaram. Namaskaram. My question to you is, why did you go 